Hey, what's up, Slayers? I'm here to give you a little context in this new deck I made. Uh, it's pretty toxic, but hey, <laughs> it is the nature of Master Duel. So in this moment, uh, the most important card right now uh, is Yuki and card destruction. Yuki Mizume essentially throws away any monster from my deck, and the monster I throw away allows me to take any monster from my graveyard and summon it. And then card destruction allows me to throw away the cards I need to summon, which was Bone Tower, which you're about to see me pull out using uh, Mizuki. Once Bone Tower is on the field and I have all the monsters I need to Synchro Summon, from here it's essentially GG unless they negate or stop the flow of me constantly Synchroing. Um, the Bone Tower is essentially the, the key aspect that allows the deck dumping to begin and whatnot. And the goal here is to basically keep Synchro Summoning and Link Summoning until the deck is empty. Um, I honestly, <laughs> as toxic as this deck is, as I've used it and found situations where you do uh, have moments where you don't get what you need, um, and you can't do the deck dumping until it's too late, and it would be pointless to go for uh, because you've already been synchro summoning too much or whatever, I found that this deck is actually a lot better than just deck dumping. And once you master the the effects of each uh, synchro monster, you can actually do a lot of things. And uh, I'll showcase that later in the video so you can see what happens if I can't uh, deck dump another player. Um, deck dumping is the main goal of this deck, but um, as I've used it and got into pretty intense uh, duels, I learned to use it normally in case I can't uh, deck dump. But yes, uh, here, just give a little context. But yeah, essentially, I'm just going to continue uh, Synchro Summon, Link Summon, until his deck is empty. Um, and I just got to be careful on the flow, because if you're not careful, you can essentially roadblock yourself and make it so that you can't Synchro anymore because, uh, let's just say, you have two of the same monsters. You, you can't have two syn same of the Synchros. You can only have one of each on the field. So if you're not careful on who you're summoning, you can stop yourself from summoning and then thus stop the deck dumping. Uh, especially if you have a more limited hand where you don't have Yuki, so you can't like extend it even further. But uh, yeah, that's the deck dumping deck. <laughs> uh, I'll chime in here and there to give a little context uh, for anything that I feel like uh, is key. In this scenario, uh, I don't get Yuki, and I have to think outside the box a little bit to get what I need. Now, luckily, I do have Bone Tower and uh, Mizuki in my hand, so 
I essentially I use that card to force us both to throw away two cards, draw two cards, and I threw away Bone Tower and Mizuki so that I can summon Bone Tower later. Now, uh, in this moment, I used Reasoning to hopefully get Yuki, but I don't get that lucky, and I get him instead. But this is still Revy doable. Revy doable. So, I do what I need to do, and boom. Now the pain has begun. <laughs> and now I just keep going, and uh, just hope it doesn't counter. A little context, uh, this is a friend of mine. He builds Revy competitive decks uh, very well thought decks and um, unfortunately for him I won the coin toss and got to go first uh, it would be a lot more of a chore to fight him if I was in turn two because he could like I mentioned earlier negate or slow down my, my synchro so it's not uh, the ultimate deck it's not gonna win all the time but if you are smart and you use the deck to its fullest potential, you can give some even meta decks a uh, run for the muddy. But it's, again, it's hard to explain. It's just tricky and very situational. And I have just certain cards in my deck that, you know, ain't necessarily tied to the deck dumping, but is for, you know, my benefit and help. <laughs> but yeah, uh,. As you can see, uh, and also my friend here is a very uh, great sport. He he was willing to see this through to the end to see if I could truly like empty his entire deck, which I did. <laughs> so enjoy the animation of when someone actually stays long enough to allow you to empty their whole deck, because once the deck is empty, it's GG's. Because if you can't draw, you win. All right, now this is the last duel of the video. This one's to showcase uh, what happens if you can't deck dump and let's just say you get a bad hand or you just don't get exactly what you need, but you have enough to do something. Essentially, this is what the deck can do if deck dumping is not on the table. Now there is scenarios where you can't deck dump turn one, but the following turn you can, so that's like a lot more subjective but you know ultimately you just need to know when to give up on the deck dumping aspect of the deck when you realize there's a certain point that you can't anymore you just have to commit to using the deck normally and that's what this duel was i committed to using this deck normally uh i'm not gonna really explain too much uh because there's a lot to explain i will just say this uh you can look at their effects and read them as they pop up and just you know pause the video and try to digest it in your space if you're very invested into this deck just pause the video and keep reading and just keep in mind what's happening every time they pop up but aside from that um thank you for uh watching the video i hope you enjoy the video this is a revy intense duel his deck is revy strong it's a uh, dark prince Despian deck so it's a really good hybrid deck and honestly I got really lucky on how I won uh, but aside from that like it did take skill and you know all my brain power to use this deck to the fullest to, to win this but uh, I hope you enjoy and uh, thank you for watching <laughs>